Grey Ghost Grey Ghost was the name given by the small folk of Dragonstone to a wild dragon living on the island during the Dance of the Dragons. During the Dance of the Dragons, Prince Jacaris Valerian sought new dragon riders to fight the Greens. Some of the dragon seeds looked for the Grey Ghost but could not find him as he was ever an elusive creature. Alan of Hull first sought out Grey Ghost before attempting and failing to claim Sheepstealer. In 130 AC, the crew of the Nessaria saw Grey Ghost and another dragon fighting in the sky above the Dragonmont. Grey Ghost was slain in the struggle. When Sir Robert Quince heard of Grey Ghost's death, he wrongly assumed this was the work of the cannibal. In Thruth, Grey Ghost was vanquished and partially devoured by Sunfire upon his return to Dragonstone. Appearance and Character Grey Ghost was pale grey-white, the color of morning mist. He was a notably shy dragon who avoided men and their works for years at a time, which gave it his name. Grey Ghost preferred to feed on fish and was often glimpsed flying low over the narrow sea, snatching prey from the waters. He made his lair in a smoking vent high on the eastern side of the Dragonmont. He was never claimed nor ridden by any man, and was one the three wild dragons with Sheepstealer and the Cannibal. Sheepstealer Sheepstealer was a wild male dragon during the Dance of the Dragons with a taste for mutton. It lived at the back of Dragonmont and would hunt between Driftmark and Windwater. The small folk of Dragonstone named it for a self-evident reason. At the start of the Dance of the Dragons, he was one of three wild dragons living on Dragonstone. Sheepstealer's dragon egg hatched when King Jaehaerys I Targaryen was still young. Sheepstealer made its lair in the caverns of the Dragonmont on Dragonstone, and would hunt sheep as far as on Driftmark and at the Windwater. Sheepstealer went unclaimed by any rider in his youth, which made him more and more unused to the presence of men and harder to claim with each passing year. Eventually he spent over seven decades living wild on Dragonstone, snatching sheep from pastures across Blackwater Bay. During the early phase of the Dance of the Dragons, Jacaris Valerian called upon any potential dragon seeds to try and claim a dragon to ride. During this event, which became known as the Sowing, Sheepstealer was one of four dragons who people attempted to mount, and the only one who had never had a rider before. In the process, Sheepstealer killed more candidates than the other three dragons, Sea Smoke, Vermithor, and Silverwing, combined. Silver Dennis, who claimed to be a descendant of King Maegar I Targaryen, had his arm torn off by Sheepstealer when he tried to master the dragon, and Alan of Hull was burned by the dragon when he made his attempt. A bastard girl named Nettles eventually managed to tame the dragon, through a cunning method. She left out a freshly killed sheep for the dragon every morning, causing the dragon to grow accustomed to her presence, until he allowed her to mount him. Along with Renera Targaryen's other dragon riders, Nettles and Sheepstealer took part in the Battle of the Gullet and the rapid capture of King's Landing, after which Sheepstealer made its lair in the Dragon Pit. Nettles and Sheepstealer joined Prince Daemon Targaryen and his dragon Caraxes in hunting Eamon Targaryen and Vagar along the Trident. They remained at Maiden Pool, from where they continued their search every morning. When Queen Renera named Nettles a traitor, Nettles left Maiden Pool with Sheepstealer early in the morning, after feeding Sheepstealer the largest black ram present at the castle. The dragon and its rider were last seen flying over the Bay of Crabs. When King Aegon II Targaryen regained the Iron Throne after Renera's death, there were reports that Sheepstealer had been seen at Crackclaw Point and the Mountains of the Moon. In 134 AC, during the reign of King Aegon III Targaryen, Sir Robert Rowan led a royal army to the Vale of Arryn to support Sir Joffrey Arryn. Robert's men encountered Sheepstealer and a ragged nettles in a cave, and in the ensuing fight 16 men were slain and threescore more were wounded. Nettles and her dragon were last seen flying deeper into the Mountains of the Moon. An offshoot clan of the painted dogs in the Vale came to worship a fire witch, to whom they would send their boys with gifts for her. In exchange, they would face the flames of her dragon to prove their manhood. This offshoot clan was considered to be one of the most savage of the mountain clans, and stories are still told about this fire witch to this day. Some of the maesters of the Seven Kingdoms believe that this practice was the origin of the tradition held nowadays by the burned men, where young men must give some part of their body to the fire to prove they have the courage to be a man. Appearance Sheepstealer's coloring was an ugly, mud-brown. He was not aggressive towards humans unless provoked, but could be vicious and ill-tempered. He had a taste for mutton. While he devoured the occasional sheepdog, he never harmed a shepherd. Grand Maester Munkin described Sheepstealer and his rider Nettles as a skinny brown girl on a skinny brown dragon, though it is also noted that Munkin never actually saw Nettles. Thus the accuracy of Munkin's description is unknown. 
Sheepstealer was not a young dragon by the time Nettles bonded with him, well over 50 years old. On the other hand, Dreamfire was even older than Sheepstealer, but was consistently described as slender, thus it's possible that Sheepstealer could have both been large and of slender build. Known Dragon Rider of Sheepstealer Nettles, the first and only rider. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.